Dear friends, members of the Ukrainian Canadian community, Roman and Oksana, greetings from Kyiv. First, let me start, Leslie, by thanking you and the UCC team for organizing this tribute for Roman and Oksana and for asking me to be a part of it. Roman and Oksana, I greet you with a paraphrase of a WhatsApp message that came to your old iPhone this week on the occasion of Roman's birthday. Vitaju najkrashtih ukrainciju sedet kanadiciju i najpišek kanadiciju sedet ukrainciju. It is an honor to pay tribute to your work as Canada's representatives in chief in Ukraine, especially since I've spent the last two months absolutely amazed by the depth and breadth of the relationship you've left behind. You deserve recognition on a grand scale, and I hope that for the next couple of hours, you will set aside the typical public service tendencies of modesty and deflection and allow yourselves to feel our pride and gratitude. Oksano, let me start by saying that nobody in that room with you today has the full picture of your contribution and in particular of the sacrifices you made in order that your spouse might have the limelight as a brilliant ambassador. You are also a leader in your own right, heading, among other things, the Ambassador Spouses Association, as well as the Canadian participation in the International Women's Club of Cave events. Others will no doubt speak about your show on Hromadske Radio and the many other ways you helped to connect Canada and Ukraine. But let me thank you again for all the unseen and unsung work you did in support of Roman's role. I'm delighted that today's banquet recognizes you and Roman in equal measure. As for you, Romane, there is no way to encapsulate what you accomplished for the Canada-Ukraine relationship over the last five years. Every single aspect of it has expanded dramatically. Under your leadership, Canadian police and the Canadian Armed Forces have become fixtures here, showing Ukrainian society what democracy, respect, leadership, gender equality and true alliance looks like. Our development programming was made more agile and responsive, and we demonstrated to the donor community what it means to truly partner with Ukraine on reforms. Under your ambassadorship, KUFTA was negotiated, signed, and ratified. There are now more Canadian fish in Ukraine and more Ukrainian shoes in Canada. You also brought these two countries into better knowledge of each other. Here, you were particularly distinguished in your way with words. Canadian ministers and officials came to learn about the goings-on in Ukraine through your diplomatic cables, which were nothing short of brilliant. You must know that back in headquarters, your reports were read for their literary flair and lessons in history, as much as for their incisive analysis of geopolitics. I'll never forget your long reports on the Tomos. Seriously, they dripped with drama and colour, with analogies that made the Byzantine crystal clear for the HQ types. And your 240 character missives to the world were equally effective. While Twitter is the bane of most diplomats' existence, you, you had skill. Your Twitter feed has been this wormhole that allows Canadians into Ukraine and Ukrainians into Canada, connecting hearts and minds. Your tweeting showcased the best of Canadian diplomacy, witty, multilingual, multi identitied learned, passionate, wise, quick and incisive, and also really bad at driving a car through the mud. But if pressed to put one ambassadorial accomplishment at the top of the list, I would have to say it was your impact as an opinion leader in a country where for most people it's really difficult to know what to think. One of your former colleagues here in Kiev said to me the other week, Oh Roman, he was a leader here. When something happened, we'd all wait for him to tweet and then we'd know what to think. Another young Ukrainian person once said about you, Seludina kto znaje vso pro vse. In Canada's G7 presidency year, you took this leadership to the highest level in godfathering the G7 group of ambassadors, establishing it as a central forum for supporting reforms in Ukraine. You made multilateralism meaningful and practical in Kyiv. Two years later, it remains a go-to forum for government, civil society and the business community. As you settled down in the vibrant, cosmopolitan surroundings of Bloor West Village, in the company of your family, friends, your plast and your choir, the whole Canadian Embassy team here in Kyiv continues to be inspired by you and wishes you all the best. Всего хорошего вам и вашим детям. И надеюсь, что когда-нибудь мы встретимся. Всего хорошего. До свидания.
Пані Оксана, пане Роман, вже скучили за вами. Приїжджайте до нас в Україну, або ми приїдемо до вас. Оксана continue to be the backbone of the family. Enjoy your life and your freedom. Пане Романе, бажаємо стати президентом України коли-небудь, а пані Оксана першою леді. Це було б чудово. І щастя вашій родині. Бажаю вам здоров'я і бажаю вам багато фоловерів на соцмережах. Роман і Оксана, I just want to thank you for bringing various people together. Пане посол, онуків, правонуків і міцного здоров'я на многі літа. Нова Ялита, нова Ялита, нова Ялита.